All right, so how's everyone's day going? Uh, this was a suggested movie to me. It wasn't recommended, but it was suggested. Or, I mean, it wasn't requested, but it was suggested. Um, I honestly never would have known unless someone said something. Um, my friend Giovanni mentioned it in a stream the other day. Um, I had no clue about this movie. Um, a, something to keep in mind with this is to go and open mind with this. This is definitely a fantasy movie, and you know, it, there's a lot of historical problems with this. Um, but it, again, it's a fantasy movie, and um, it's it, it, it's fantasy, but it's based on. A historical event of 500 bef years when the Vikings came before Columbus. Um, this is definitely a, a battle between Vikings and um, Native Americans or Indians or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. It's, it's just the whole thing about what they call them now is just, you know, out of hand. So I don't know. Whatever. I'll just call them Native Americans. Um, you get a whole lot of, uh, of um, well, not a whole lot, but a good amount of uh, Native American reposition of it, um, of uh, how, how they were. Um, the Viking thing, though, I mean, I don't want to sit here and, and complain about the unhistorical parts, even though there's a lot of them. Um, because, again, uh, this is a fantasy, and I recognize that. But I will say the the helmets look really stupid. They look like something out of Scrim, the game Scrim. Um, I don't know if this is based on a book or anything, and maybe the Scrim games are based off of that. I don't know. Maybe this was made off of that. I don't know. And it, but it is a very interesting piece. Um, sorry. Sorry, I'm just very thirsty right now. I just did a whole lot of, of working out as I watch movies. So, bear with me. The, there is... I, the issues... I have a lot of issues with this movie. Um, but in the end, I do... I did enjoy it. Um, you know, I didn't feel for the characters. There wasn't much of a story arc. And there was a bit of uh, some holes in here. Um, I know a lot about, uh, Viking history and there's this, I mean, again, I, I don't want to get into it, but it, I do have a lot of issues with this movie. Um, but from the movie part of this, cause it's fantasy, I definitely would give this movie, oh, what would I give this? Uh, two and a half out of five stars, um... I was rearing towards three, but then I thought about it. I think what what mostly bothered me about this movie was the tint of how it was edited. You know, there's a tint to the whole, every scene to it, um, like a gray tint. Um, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. For me, I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, they did a good job when they did um, Underworld. I believe they had a, a gray tint to everything. But for the most part, I do not like that. Um, unless the story is really good, it's this is going to bother me. And I, it was just hard to follow along. It was over the top. But uh, again, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoyed the movie, but it, it had a lot of issues with it. Um, I, I do recommend that you do check it out, though. Um, it is a very interesting movie. It came out in 2007 or 8. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Um, as uh, not Keith Urban, but something Urban on here. Um, he is in the um, TV show Boys. And he, he is a good actor. Um, you know, I like him. He's more of a side actor, as I call him. You know, not like that main big huge acting or semi big, uh, acting actors. So, you know, it, it was a good period, a uh, good piece of, uh, art. So, you know, I give it props for that. Um, so I will be having some more reviews either later tonight or tomorrow. 
So keep a lookout for that. Um, in the meantime, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you have not already, please subscribe. And everyone have a good day and a good week. And please stay positive. And uh, yeah, have a good day.